Hello. Hello. We saw your gnome. Oh. And uh, they live here. Uh, we are together. Do you because make gnomes? Do you yes, know gnomes? Yes. Come in and. Oh, okay. <laughs> Was quite the environment. She really created a gnome land. Her flying birds and her gnomes everywhere. She seems to live the life. They are kind. The nice gnomes. For me, these are not only dolls. For me, they represent the living nature. <laughs> How long have you had this relationship with gnomes? Since I was born. I, I was a little concerned for her because when you think. Someone who spends a lot of their time with gnomes, it could go too far. They are like us. Look at us. We are all humans, but we are not alive. So you have a different feeling whenever you, each one that you're making? Just like uh, making babies. You you always do the same thing, but uh, the Come babies down, are. Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I'm making gnomes could be so much fun. <laughs> it's quite amazing. I mean, they are really, you can see that your heart is in this. It makes me very happy. It makes other people who buy them for me also very happy. Right. She values making these creatures, sharing them with her customers. And, you know, you can't say enough about that. And I begin with a, a, ball, a ball. And then I take, I have one with four needles. Right. And then you see, I can tuck it in. And then I sit and do like this all the day. All the day and all the night? Yes. <laughs> and I'm happy with that. Even more than the creatures that she was making, I mean, her, her sincerity was so captivating. And she had total integrity about what she was making. In this room, every, um, everywhere, ideas are flying around. Ooh, right. Ooh, right. Ooh, and sometimes they pop into you. Mm. Mm. I really enjoyed seeing her world and hearing about these creatures. I found myself dropping my known prejudice.